Well, hello once again, all my classic dirt bike loving YouTubers, and thanks for joining me here on my classic dirt bike TV channel. Now, I hope you're managing to keep safe and well during these very difficult times, and fingers crossed it won't be too long before we're all back on the track once more enjoying our old race bikes. Now, in my next feature clip, it's another picture slideshow of a machine I captured a few years back at the Blencarn Classic Scramble. So I hope you'll hang around with me for the next few minutes as we take a look at Trevor Calderwood's 1970-50 CZ. Now this particular 250CZ belongs to Irishman Trevor Calderwood who already has a fine collection of these Czechoslovakian racers in his dirt bike workshop and at the time of taking these pictures this was the latest addition to Trevor's CZ fleet of motorcycles. Now the bike is loosely based around a 1970 and although it looks nothing like a 1970s uh, machine with some of the mods that have been fitted to this bike the frame and the motor are definitely from the early 1970s. Now as you've no doubt guessed by now the bike has undergone a few minor upgrades to make the machine more user friendly when it's used on the track. Now the bike was built by Myra Hijack Finn Racing in the Czech Republic and the frame was built using an exact copy of a 1970s chassis uh, utilising this uh, twin down tube configuration to suit the underswept pipe. Now again the bike's front forks were hand built by suspension genius Pavel Janda which include uh, Suzuki RM80 sliders and a few other very trick valve inserts. Now these modifications certainly help the old CZ forks work better on the racetrack and uh, they were put to good use at this particular track here at Blencairn because it was known to be an extremely uh, bumpy course. Now the standard CZ brakes and hubs are used on this bike and uh, these worked very well for a 1970s twin shock machine. Now the rear shocks again are not the standard original items but uh, upgraded units although I'm not entirely sure of the actual manufacturer of these shocks but they do look like a pair of uh, rock shocks or possibly even uh, classic Olin's units although I have heard that these suspension systems do work very well on this bike and are a better and bigger improvement over the originals. Now as per the chassis this 1970s motor also has had a few upgrades including a VAP ignition and a more modern Mikuni carburetor fitted to replace those very troublesome Jacob carbs which were notorious for leaks and flooding. Now Trevor's bike also has had this very nice aluminium airbox fitted which was custom fabricated to fit this frame and the new uh, Makuni carburetor. Now also in keeping up with the modern trends of uh, modernizing these CZ motors, uh, a few of the engines uh, cooling fins on the barrel have been removed. Now why this is done I'm uh, not entirely sure. Now this alloy primary sprocket cover was also made and fitted by Trevor as this is a mandatory requirement on all vintage and classic racing machines in Northern Ireland. So your old uh, twin shot racer must be fitted with one of these covers to be eligible to take part in classic racing. Now at first glance the bike's fuel tank does look like it's made from alloy although it's actually a hand crafted fuel tank in fiberglass 
and was made by Karol Mitvalsky. Now there's a lot of talented individuals in the Czech Republic that know these bikes inside out and there's almost nothing that these guys can't fix or manufacture for these old classic CZ machines. Now when it comes to comfort on a CZ dirt bike, uh, they don't come much better than these Czechoslovakian made sofas. <laughs> Compared to a modern day motocross uh, seat, these were about as good as you could get uh, for the early 1970s. Now the exhaust system is another hand-built item specifically made to fit this particular bike. Now the handcrafted parts fitted to this machine like the tank, exhaust, chassis etc were not all carried out by some backstreet mechanic in his garden shed. These parts were made by X works CZ spanner men who know every inch of these machines and continue to share their skills and knowledge making and repairing parts for these old bikes. Now it's also nice to see that this machine has a good pair of these very wide uh, footrests for the rider and uh, these are much better of course than those uh, skinny affairs that the manufacturers sell the bikes with and these are a very good upgrade on not just this bike but any bike. Now Trevor himself is no slouch on the track and it's uh, universally known that uh, he's a very quick rider and when he tried this bike for the very first time on the track which was soon after these pictures were taken uh, to say the least he was well impressed with this little bike. Now he did comment at the time and uh, said that you could feel immediately that all the original CZ little niggles were now sorted and with the suspension upgrades, the bike handled like a more modern machine. But not only does the bike run well and handle superbly, you have to admit it's not a bad looking little machine either. And that's one of the reasons that Trevor entered this bike into the concourse competition at the following nostalgia scramble a few months later and promptly walked away with the top prize. Now here we have a couple of pictures of Trevor in action on the bike at the 2013 Nostalgia Scramble event. But as I said, this was just the latest addition to Trevor's collection at the time and you could almost rest assured that he's already added one or maybe even more bikes since these uh, few pictures were taken. And so there you have it, uh, one of the many CZ or CZ machines from the Trevor Calderwood Classic Dirt Bike Collection. Of course if you search my YouTube channel you'll find many more of Trevor's race bikes which are all very special in their own way. So until my next video posting please continue to be safe and hopefully it won't be too long before we're let loose again to do what we love doing best and that's racing old classic dirt bikes. This video was brought to you in association with Wealthsport, the world's number one supplier for all your off-road and leisure sportswear. Just visit their online website for more information.